welcome to this video. For those of you that don't know who I am, I'm Vicky and I'm going to be your personal trainer for this little video. This video is going to be a quick little video. Um, it's all about how to hip hinge. So you do that in the movements like your deadlift, your bent over row, those type of movements. Um, that's where you need to learn how to hip hinge correctly and stay in that position. So that is what this video is all about. So let's go. And ignore my dog barking. So your yeah, hip hinge, it is all in your hips, literally. So I'm going to be down at this angle. So if my head gets cut off, I do apologize, but hopefully that's gonna, not going to happen. Um, I've got a little man in the background, got uh, Enzo down there. So you might see two dogs, you might just see one. But either way, we're going to help you to learn how to hip hinge. So I'm going to demonstrate in a bent over row because that's the easiest one that most people know of hopefully and um, but that's where you're gonna kind of you're gonna do it in like i mentioned you're gonna do it in your bed of or you're gonna do it in your deadlift Um, you need to learn how to hip hinge uh, for quite a lot of things especially when it comes to legs so you need to know how to hip hinge um so don't bend over row. you're gonna have your feet underneath your hips you're gonna have a slight bend in your knee to begin with and then it's literally if I stand up straight and go out of the frame slightly, slight bend in my knee to start with, and then my back stays nice and straight, my core stays nice and tight, and then I'm literally hinging at my hips, and that's all your hip hinges. So a slight bend in the knee, hip, go back, back nice and straight, and then you're gonna come back up. So that's literally all it is. So you bend over where you're gonna be staying in this position. Now that's where most people tend to um kind of not stay in that position so they'll stay in that position for one or two reps and then their back will get rounded um and then their legs will become really straight um so the more you do it the more you're going to be able to actually hip hinge and initiate the movement from those hips um so i'll demonstrate one more time so feet go underneath you're going to have a slight bend in your knee so think Knees are bent first, so a slight bend. So therefore, even if I bend my knees slightly, I stick my butt out. So back nice and straight, hips go back, and then come back up. Slight bend, hips go back, back is nice and straight. Imagine you've got a stick on your back. Um, if you're really struggling to learn how to hip hinge, um, I, would I would suggest a stick. I don't have a stick with me, um, but you will put it down the length of your spine and your stick stays nice and straight and you initiate the movement so again repeating myself quite a lot in this video so a slight bend in your knee well, that will automatically kind of push your hips back slightly and you want to continue that movement so imagine stick on spine your stick stays nice and straight and then come back up pretty much that movement so again it is all in your hips the more you do deadlifts the more you do bent over rows, the more you do anything where you need to hip hinge, you're going to get better at it. Um, so another great way to do that is good bridges. It's pretty much the opposite of a hip hinge. So you start and already in that position. So you start and kind of where your butt is already stuck out, but your butt's on the floor. Feet are coming up to your butt. Um, and from your knees to your shoulder blades, your butt is going towards that sky. So I'll quickly demonstrate how to do a glute bridge. It's pretty much the opposite, like I said, it's the opposite of a of your uh, hip hinge. It will help you get strong glutes as well, so it will help you um, in your hip movement, because it does come from your, you know, like I said, your hips, but also you've got your glutes, you've got your legs. As long as you have a strong lower body, you should be able to hip hinge. So your glute bridge head goes on the floor, Pretty much hips come up to the sky and then you're automatically kind of stood or lying in the position that you should be um, when you're in a bend over row or you're hinging your hips. So again, from your knees to your shoulders, nice straight, squeezing that butt as hard as you can, driving that heel in particular towards that floor and then coming back up. That should help with your hip hinge as well. Um, anything where basically you've got to move your hips in a way any exercise where you've got to move your hips 
your hip hinging. Um, so again, it's a lot of repeating in this video, but uh, the more you do stuff like that, the more you're going to get better at hip hinging. There you go. Hopefully that has helped you learn how to hip hinge. Um, so like I said, your deadlifts, your bent over rows, glute bridges, believe it or not. Um, so anything where you've got to move your hips the, and your hips go back, and um, that's a hip hinge. Uh, so a lot of people, believe it or not, don't know how to do that. So that again, the more you do it and the more you kind of stay in those positions, the stronger you're going to get in that position. Um, so you can still do stuff like that at home, even with very limited equipment. Um, so again, it will get you used to doing that. So the more you're used to doing it body weight, the more you're going to get used to it um, pretty quickly when we do go back to the gym and you do get to handle some weight. Um, and that is the video. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. <clears throat> um, and you enjoyed my dogs as well. And little, little drunker. Um, but yeah, make sure you like this video, subscribe, uh, let me know what what video you want to see next, whether that's class or whether that's another how-to. Um, this is probably going to be the probably the shortest video for your how-to um, ever, <laughs> pretty much, because um, it's not that much explaining to do. Um, it's literally just slight bend, hips go back, back stays nice and straight. Um, and it's all one movement, it's all one solid movement in your upper body um that's literally how you how you hip hinge um so again not to repeat myself over and over and over again again the more you do your deadlifts the more you do your bent over rows the more you do your glute bridges anything where you are hinging at the hip you're gonna get better at it like subscribe comment and i'll see you in the next one no i don't use that no 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 no, don't use that. There's nothing to talk about, Mitty. Help it. Get your way down, boy. You're bent over the roof. You're going to have... Oh, electric shock. <laughs> wow.